afternoon. Um, okay. I know it's not in the squad, but there was a very, very big Premier League game on the weekend. Can you just update us on Cole Palmer's fitness after uh, the game? Yeah, Cole is still, uh, he didn't train yesterday. So we see today if it's able to, to train with us. What's your feeling about Sunday? Uh, hopefully, yeah, we hope, we hope so, but uh, we need to wait, we need to sit, and then uh, decide. And who else um, will make it? I think Sanchez had a little bit of illness, didn't he? Was yeah, he okay yeah he's, he's recovering from that. Uh, he had, uh, I would say, it knock in the session also. So we see for tomorrow for sure he's out, and we see if he can be available for... Sunday game, otherwise will be after the international break. Uh, anyone else that we know about, needs to know about that's out tomorrow night? No, the rest, uh, as I said, unless uh, the one that they are not include, involved in the squad, Conference League squad, and the Jadon, the rest, they are all available. Can we expect a huge number of changes again from you tomorrow night, given how big the game is? But we don't make change because of the big game, Sunday big game. Since we start, we make change because we have 24, 25 players, all fit, all good enough to play different competition. And this is the reason why we are making change and probably we, we're going to make change tomorrow too. And when you're telling players that they're starting these European games, how how difficult sort of is that? Because it's you have made it quite clear that you've got two different sort of teams. And clearly, you know, it's human nature. Yes, they want to start, but yes, there's that tiny bit of, actually, I'm playing in the sort of... Yeah, no, for me, it's not, uh, it's not uh, a problem in terms of uh, the ones that they are playing in the Premier League. They also played some game in the Conference League. Or oh, I don't know, the last one has been Mark Kukureya, that uh, he played Panathinaikos, Panathinaikos away and then he didn't play in the Premier League. But uh, I said many times, the ones that they are playing Premier League, that means that they are not going to play in the Conference. And the ones that they are playing in the Conference, that means that they are not going to play in the Premier League. The season is so long, we have so many games. And for sure, all of them, they are going to play Conference League and Premier League game or FA Cup, the next one. So it's not, uh, I already said, uh, I can understand that from outside you can see uh, two teams, but we have just uh, one team, one squad, 24, 25 players, all fit, fortunately. And uh, we're going to try to use all of them. And be honest, how much do you know? Did you know about Noah before you drew them? Had you heard of them? Uh, I heard before the game. Uh, to be honest, I didn't watch game uh, previously, but uh, in the last two, three, three days, we watch different different games from them. And I said many times, probably the conference for us it's a bit tri tricky competition because everyone against us they want to do, you know, the the the, the game. So we need to be ready uh, technically, but also uh, mentally. No, it's, yeah, it's a team that uh, in their uh, country, they play different shapes, so we don't know how they're going to come here and play. Uh, we try to, to, be, to be ready, and I said many times, uh, today football, you can find good player, uh, good squad, good team, and good manager everywhere, not only uh, in the most important league in Europe or in the world, but also in this ki kind of country, you can find important things, and for sure, they have some good players also. Ian? Mm, hi, um, the England squad's going to get announced tomorrow. Um, I know with Rhys James, he's, you said recently, he only played one game a week. He played very well on, on Sunday. If England was selecting, would you be disappointed? Do you think you should be in contention with England squad, just given how soon he's come back? Oh, no idea, to be honest. No idea. It's, uh, we are happy in the way he's progressing with us in terms of physical condition and also the way he's playing with us. 
uh, and we are happy with that. Then the ball international team, no, no idea. But would you rather you wouldn't be in contention right now? If you're no, I love my players uh, join international team. So because that means that is good for the club, is good for the player, is good for the manager, it's good for all of them, and. Uh, but that I don't know if he's going to be with the international team. Rob, um, Jean Felix has done pretty consistently well whenever you put him in the team this season. But he still can't get a game in, in the Premier League or, or get a start. Um, even with Sancho out over the last week, he didn't get off the bench at Old Trafford. Is there something that you'd hoped you would see, you would get from Felix that you're not getting? No. Uh, I, I feel shame about Joao, but not only about Joao, but now you ask me about Joao, so I feel shame about Joao uh, and I would like to give him uh, more minutes in the Premier League, but I said many times, we need uh, defensive balance and we cannot play with uh, Joao, Cole, uh, Chris. I, I like to, to put all of them inside the pitch, but then you have to also to defend and you need the right balance between the two faces, attacking and defending. And this is the only the only reason why. But I, I don't have any do doubt that if Joao keep working well, he's going to find his moment also in uh, in Premier League. Do you get asked a lot about Mudrick in the same sort of terms as being a player who hasn't quite made good on his potential, who, who, who it maybe might not happen for if it doesn't happen soon? Is Salix another player like that, a, a bit of a crossroads? kind of needs to start happening through soon if it's going to happen at all. Oh, yeah, but uh, we can say the same from Cristo. Cristo probably is the one that every time play, he score. <laughs> and he, he did well. Uh, also probably was our best player in preseason, no doubt. And and he was playing as attacking midfielder. Now we are using him as, as a nine. That probably is, we know, we all know that is not a crystal position, the nine. It's more second striker, behind the striker, between the line. But uh, I try to find a solution and balance with all of them. And I can understand that not only all, all of them, they can be in their position. They have to adapt a little bit. So it's from it's for Joao, for Misha, for Cristo. They are all players that uh, Probably they deserve more chances in the Premier League, but uh, also we have more players that they, def they deserve that. Simon? Hey, so, um, on the trick, um, after the Panathinaikis game, you talked about the learning process for being slower mm -hmm. than the rest. It, what in particular were you referring to? Is it the sort of, the, the sort of defensive side of the game? or? Is it the attacking side? No, first of all, we have to say that probably after Panathinaikos, I think we play uh, Newcastle at home, and he played some minutes second half. Then we play Newcastle away, and he played from the start. And we play United the other day, and he played some minutes. So he's not playing from the start, but he's playing. So uh, then in terms of, as I said, probably defensively also, but uh, there are there are things that uh, he needs to improve. But him, like uh, all all the rest. Can you be more specific? What or is it something that you are talking with him on a daily basis? It seems like you have quite a good relationship. He, he came over to you, I think. Yeah. Season. No, no. I just on the ball. I think uh, we need our winger uh, arriving in the box. The goal he scored against Panathinaikos. The post from Pedro against uh, Newcastle's second post. So we want our winger to arrive in the box. That is something that at the beginning they struggle, but now they are doing much better. And on the ball, I always said the same. Uh, I, I like winger 1v1, but when there is no chance, don't force it. If you have two, two defenders there, don't force it, start again. And it's something also that we need to learn how to manage that. And for sure, defensively, uh, sometimes when you find a fullback like, uh, I don't know, Livramento, that is a fullback that he attack a lot, and you have to follow. So you, have, you, need to, you need both face attacking and defending. And, and the final one for me on, on Ricardo. What, what, how have you found him as an as a individual, as a bloke, as a personality? Is he someone that needs to kind of 
come out of his shell a bit more? We, we obviously don't speak to him very often. Is he someone that leads to... No, everyone, everyone we are in the way we are. It's difficult to change people. We can try to improve people, but uh, if you are shy or you are not shy, uh, this is something that is inside of you and it's difficult to change. With Misha, probably, uh, you can see him that uh, he looks a, li a little bit shy, uh, but uh, overall, when he's with us, he's, he's okay. Uh, Kieran? Uh, do you know which academy lads are going to be training with your first team today? Might be in the squad. Yeah, uh, Tyreek for sure, and uh, Sam Raksaki too. Yeah. And we see, see if some of them. I mean, how have you found? Because there was a new under twenty ones coach, uh, Felipe Coelho. How have you found the years and with that utilizing the kids, bringing them into your squad? Oh, quite good. Yeah, good. No problem. And just on on Kunku, uh, when he signed, he'll have pictured himself being the Premier League starter in that team. Mm. How, how do you think he's found being used in these other competitions? And how have you found balancing egos in a squad? No, yeah, I feel, I said, I feel, I feel uh, shame for uh, Christo because I said before in pre-season, probably was our best player playing, I think, in his position. But because we need also to adapt players, uh, we start to move him as a striker, knowing that he's not a nine, knowing that. But to find balance sometimes, we, we try that. But uh, for me, the Cristo is similar to Joao. If they continue to work in the same way, for sure they're going to find, uh, they're going to get minutes in Premier League or, again, in different competition. So what you want to see from these bigger name players that they're not sulking when they have to get used. No, no, not only about them, about uh, all of them. I said since we start, if you, but it's, it's, I think it's a matter of respect players. If you, for instance, you don't play Sunday, Premier League, and we have Thursday, Conference League, and from Sunday to Thursday, you don't train well, you are not going to play Thursday. So you don't play Sunday, you don't play Thursday. But it's not because, uh, it's because I think they deserve respect and to show respect to them is that they are, I try to help them to work every day in the right way. So if you are not, work, not playing Sunday and you don't work properly, you are not going to play Thursday, both games. And so. we'll finish with Jack. Enzo, just on Carl, you said you're hopeful that he'll play at the weekend. Is there a feeling at the moment that it could be a risk by the way? Yeah, the for sure. Yeah, for sure. We, we said he didn't train the last two days. And we see. Hopefully, he can be he can be fit. The tackle, I think, has been quite clear that it was not a, a normal one. But uh, yeah, hopefully, he can be back. And I wanted to ask you. Mentioned it's a bit of a tricky competition for you yeah. because of the stat stature you've got within it. Is the feeling that if, if you don't win this trophy, it would be a bit of a failure because of that stature? No. Uh, if we play the final. Probably yes, but uh, now for me the, the the main the main thing is the group stage to go through that. Then after the group stage, we see and if we play the final and we don't win that for sure. But uh, uh, now you cannot think about the final when you are still uh, you know group stage and all the all the rest to play. Great, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.